Hello and welcome to the allotment and cheers, how are ya? Um, I'm having a beer before I even start anything today because I've been up since about 6 o'clock in the morning I've been running around like crazy, I think it's about, it's, it's time for a beer now before I even start I've been running around non-stop, it's a glorious, glorious beautiful day here in Birmingham and we have got absolutely loads to be getting on with so cheers for a start Oh, I love these little stubbies. Last week, we've got those pallet collars and they're where they're gonna be. Today's job is to fill them. I've got my onions, I've got my leeks to put in, I'm gonna sow some chard. Those are my three main objectives today. It has been pouring down off and on and then really nice sunshine. So the weeds are going crazy, so we need a bit of management, but not as much as we used to because the path is down, isn't it now? So that's bloody good. Um, so yes, I'm going to sit here and have a think about what we are going to do. Um, how's the ear? Thank you for asking. Uh, it's still naff. Been to the doctors again, but it's better than what it was. So we're, we're on week three of this ear now. I'm waiting for them to find that there's a whole hive of something living behind my eardrum. That'll be delightful. It is um, National Naked Gardening Day today. I toyed with the idea, but nobody needs to see this. Um, in any form really so you're safe it won't be happening just looking at my onions they're growing really nicely so yes the the beds are the main priority today I've got lots of compost I'm gonna get some um, barrows of manure I've got some um, cardboard for the bottom this is how I'm gonna go about it okay base I'm gonna put cardboard down quite a lot of cardboard because in these other beds the weeds just didn't care about it so quite a lot of cardboard then i'm going to put some wood chip on then i'm going to put logs and twigs and things like that in there uh, and fill it up and then top it up with manure and compost probably enriched with some chicken poo um yeah so that's the big plan today um i hope you lot are all doing really well uh, if you are enjoying our journey, you know the drill. Go and give us a like and a subscribe down there. Pitting, pitting, pitting and all that. And uh, at Second City Cottage, Twitter and Instagram. I am going to enjoy the rest of this beer. Contemplate what I am going to do today. Then I'll show you what we're going to do. All right? Cool. First of all, just have a look at that pathway now. It's all dried off. Looking good, isn't it? See the stepping stones more clearly. We'll go and clear them off properly. That's good. Happy. So here are the three that are going to be the main focus of today um, and I want to make sure that we are, these are getting nice and full, yeah, we make sure they're all lined up exactly how we want them and they're full, but this, we have got to get rid of this first, I'm going to get right in on that, that's going to be the first thing we do, we've got logs knocking around which are going to fill up a good proportion of these. Um, because we need to fill them. I want them to be nice and full stop because they will sink apparently. So that's something worth thinking about. That is my main objective for today. These three are my main objective. If we get up to the other one over there, absolute bonus. But these three are my main objective. Don't overdo it, Lee. And uh, yeah, we'll have a go with that. Right, I'm gonna open the polytunnel to let some air in and we're gonna get to it. One bear break and one sun bathing session in, and this is where we're at with our raised beds. The wood chipping at the bottom, which I'm a little bit dubious about now because somebody told me I shouldn't, but it's in, so we're going with it now. Um, so wood in them, I've got to get this root sort of cut up here. I don't know whether it's in my shadow, but there you go. Very bright here. Uh, another one here, I haven't put any chips in this one because of that and then there's fewer chips in this, but wood nonetheless. So, I'm going to try and find some more wood from the big pile at the back. Then we're going to go and get some manure and compost in, see how far we can get. Let's see what we can do. 
Well, yesterday, for it is now Sunday, um, ended up being really, really blooming hard work. So it's now Sunday. Um, I only got one of the beds full. Um, I completely underestimated how much uh, work it would need. Um, and it's a lot of blooming work. I'll show you what we did. Um, and I'm fairly happy with it, but uh, we're going to have to look at another approach for the other two because it was just so much soil that it took in the end. Um, essentially, it means doing the the bottom layers more. So learn from my mistakes. I'd started putting stuff in the first bed and I was committed to it, so I wanted to get it done. But in the end, it took seven bags of compost and four barrels of um, manure. That's not sustainable to put across the other ones. And... Um, as this is part of an experiment to go, you know, if, if you're part of garden, as I have mentioned before, the dig, no dig debate is um, fairly violent at times um, and uh, pretty mean. That was more work than digging by far. Um, I think the soil is supposed to be better for it in the long run, but it was blooming hard work. I'll show you what I've done um, and eventually, uh, I did so much lifting um, and then I did get a gift from a plot neighbor which I'll show you in a second which we had to move over and by the time we'd done it all realistically um, it was getting on for half four in the afternoon god bless you Thank you. we were um, getting on for half four in the afternoon and I'd had enough really and Snipe and his wife Eleanor were up at the other plot and um, they'd had enough as well so we uh we called it a day and I thought I'll come back today to do the planting, uh, which is what we're going to do in a minute. So I shall, see, I shall show you what we are doing. Before we go on and plant anything, um, Lyra is here. Show everybody your new gloves and your watering can. Your nanny bought that for you, didn't she? Yeah. She's getting all kitted up. She's got her gloves. Say hello to everybody. Hello everybody. What are we going to plant today? Um, I think that. We're going to plant some onions. My onions blew over in the greenhouse, my silver skins. These were the backups. And the backups have done so much better than what the original ones were doing. So I think my lesson for onions was leave them to do their own thing. And they will do their own thing. So this is the gift. Look at this. How good is that? It's blooming massive. It's got the barbecue in it at the moment. My plot neighbours from the plot behind me gave me this because they weren't going to use it anymore. So a bit of netting over the top and this front opens up as well. Um, so I'm thinking we can put some brassicas in there. I might put my leeks in there and a net over the top and it's like full protection really. So that's an absolute winner. So uh, thank you to my plot neighbours. And over here we've got the bed that I filled it's a blooming lot of soil guys it's a lot of soil but it's in now and that should as long as I take care of it and keep adding it up with sort of organic material and stuff should last a blooming long time the other two I got the cardboard in and I've got some wood at the bottom of them, but we haven't got the soil. I'm going to fill it a lot more with twigs, basically, and see if I can get some grass and some leaves and stuff like that. So what we're going to do today is we are going to rake this off. We're going to water it, and then we're going to plant some seeds. And Lyra's going to help me watering with her watering can. Are you going to help me watering? Yeah. Good. <laughs> We've got some silver skin onions. I'm going to put them in. We've got some silver skin onion seeds. I'm going to put those in, bit of successive sowing. Um, we've got some chard. And I did want to put some beetroot in, but I can't find my blooming beetroot seeds, which is annoying. So I'm going to leave an area on the left here, I think, or the right, whichever way we start. And um, we'll put some uh some beetroot in sorry i paused there because i thought i'd just seen an absolute giant spider and i was going to run away right okay tell everybody we'll see them later okay
What have we been doing? Onions. Onions. We have been doing onions. Are these the onions over here? Right. As the time lapse should have shown you, hopefully shown you, not shown you. Ha <laughs> ha. Gardening joke. Um, these here are our silver skin onions, which we've been growing. We've got oh, about 40 in there, I think. Now, my understanding is that these grow very quickly. So I'm hoping if I start sowing some more at home later or tomorrow, these can grow. We can get them out and we can get some new ones put straight in, which is very exciting. Pickled onions all around. Apparently they freeze really well. They go in stews very well and they pickle absolutely brilliantly. Then over on the left hand side of the bed we have got three well there are two things three rows here um i've used this bit of crockery here to outline the the line for the first lot of chard and um you can see well you can't see it really but that's the chard label so those two there are two rows of chard and then here on the left, you can't see that probably, but we've got black magic kale. Um, so they are both pick and grow sort of things. So you pick them, the outer leaves, and they carry on growing. Chard particularly, you can sort of harvest them for about four or five months, I think. So very excited about that. Um, so yes, there you have it. Um, the first bed is done. Looking to the left here and here, one thing that I have learned from um, being down on the allotment, one thing I've learned from being down on the allotment is don't break your back over anything because you'll just get a bitter taste in your mouth and you won't want to come down again. So I am going to start filling these little by little uh, and that will be that. We'll get there, um, but I'm not going to break my back to do it I did yesterday doing this one and I did really want it done we've got some stuff growing now you know so if these are up in time to grow something and absolutely fantastic if they're not then they will be next year you know I'm not going to um I'm not going to do myself in spotted something over here if you uh if you join me around the corner apart from massive spiders around here this here is bindweed if you get that on your plot you want to get rid of it as soon as possible but it will last forever it's an ongoing fight that's why a lot of my plot is going to be covered apart from where i'm growing because it's an absolute nightmare so that is it for the the toil this week let's have a look particularly glad here with the black currants, I don't know if I've shown you already, but from earlier vlogs, you will have seen that I had to be fairly brutal with these. And I didn't think we were going to get much growth this year, but they are absolutely doing fine and dandy. So I've got to put a net up around this. Um, otherwise, the birds will just have it away. However, I'll leave this boy down at the end here a bit of a sacrifice to them um, because I feel guilty that you're taking all their food really so there you go so yes I leave some some for the birds same as I do with the damsons so yes I think I've decided that I'm going to put the leeks in the ground as opposed to um, putting them in a raised bed looking online that seems to be the best option that will be the plan on Saturday there's an aeroplane yes so that will be the plan on saturdays to get the leaks in um, i might even use that cage that i was gifted so the next couple of plans for me are going to be the leaks and then clear this area around these beds um oh clear it there's not much growing there really so i want to clear it and recover it so um so it's done i don't think we're going to be putting much in there this year um so we will start very soon to be getting to the point where we just want it to be nice and tidy with what grow and what we want. As I said last year and the beginning of this year, I don't want to be trying to push myself too hard to be growing absolutely loads. If I, I this year I'm growing kale and silver skin onions now and 
chard for the first time. I'm growing gherkins for the first time. Uh, and that's already sort of doubled what I was sort of growing last year because I've still grown the chilies that I grew last year. Don't break your back, just enjoy it and allow yourself to enjoy it. The shallots now are coming on really, really well. So I think in all honesty, we are going to give this place a little bit of a, a stream. We're going to give it a bit of a water and then we are going to go home. So you know the drill as ever. If you are enjoying our journey, please do give us a like and a subscribe and give us a follow on Twitter and Instagram. It's at Second City Cottage. And for now, um, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic week. And we shall see you next week. Lyra, say goodbye to everybody. Goodbye, Peggy. She did say if you couldn't hear it.